What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys the Paradise Gardens. This is the phase three of the raid. This is pretty tough. It requires a lot of coordination. This video is going to explain everything and our best strategy so far. I'm sure it's not the greatest, but trust me, this channel will have the best strategy posted as well in detail, along with every other part of the raid. Now, before we get into the raid, two things. Number one, giving away a super rare emblem the confluence of light emblem all you have to do is like this video and comment down below make sure you're a subscriber because that's how you'll know you'll win we'll directly dm you and number two make sure if you need help with raids trials guaranteed or anything else in destiny make sure you read the description below of this video and contact us we help people and we've been helping since week one of destiny one so you guys can count on us now let's get into this video and guys trust me this is definitely one that you're going to want to watch and understand if you don't know what's going on so i have a prism weapon in my hand so two people will have a prism weapon and four people will have spores the spores people have to go to the spore sacks and there's six sacks or about seven sacks around the map there's one in middle tree, one in the right rock, then three on the, uh, on the outer side of the right side, and three on the uh, outer left on the uh, left side. So then essentially there's eight. Ooh, I just counted. <laughs> so what you're doing is you're going to stand on this light. If you have a prism weapon, you obviously have to designate everyone to be, you know, either a spores or a prism weapon. And then once your four people with spores go to one spore sack and they have to go together, what you do is you have to stand on the light with a prism weapon and shoot that spore. Then what you do is obviously use that prism weapon to kill ads that come out. There's a sniper that comes out on the opposite side of where that spore sack was activated. And then there's also cabal that comes out as well. So make sure that you're there to kill them. And guys, you can use this prism weapon to kill the cabal and the ads without alerting the dogs the dogs will still kind of like you know be like oh what was that but they won't know who did it you want to make sure the four people are coordinating together they cannot get caught by those dogs treat those dogs just like you would gorgons from destiny one and what you have to do is once again guide your team the people on the top left and right should always be scouting and guiding their team you want to get to the light closest to the spore sack and you want to activate that spore sack only when all four people are together. Otherwise, only some of them will get it. So some of you guys might be wondering, well, why are we activating spore sacks? What you have to do is when you're together and you activate that spore sack, you get a damage buff. And the more spore sacks you do, the more damage you can do when that damage phase comes. So the damage phase is activated either when you get spotted by a dog or when the time runs out. And you'll know the time is running out because it'll say the dogs or whatever are restless. When it says that on your screen, that's how you know time is running out and you have to quickly get more spore sacks if you want more damage buff. Now, what our strategy is, I'll go into that now so you guys can understand this, is that you wanna make sure that the four people together are going to each spore sack don't split them up you want to in the first round get at least four spore sacks if you can get five get five we got five as you can see and we were absolutely melting these dogs your light level at this point doesn't even really matter because the damage buff is so immense what you want to do is you want to go around and make sure you are killing these dogs so if you don't have a great super, which you should, utilize your super. Tether is great, Arc Warlock is great, and the Titan Smash is great. What you wanna do is utilize pulse, uh, pulse grenades. That They are so freaking powerful, guys. Trust me, pulse grenades are amazing. And utilize a shotgun. If you have the Hawthorne shotgun, utilize that. With the damage buff, it does crazy damage. And then a Legendary Sword also does immense damage on those dogs as well. So. Obviously, pair tethers, pair supers. The next round, when it starts, you have one res token on the bottom right, as you can see. So you can pick up just one person. It's pretty much just like trials or countdown or whatever it is. Then what you want to do is you want to just rinse and repeat and you do the same thing you did in the first round. But now you have less time. So you want to make sure you run. Now, the reason why you can run now is because you've killed majority of the dogs. The first round, we killed five dogs. That means majority of the map is pretty much empty. All you have to do is stay away from one dog or aka one Gorgon. On, and now we, we just have to kill this one dog but see how little damage we're doing because we have pretty much no buff that's why you guys need to make sure that you do as much damage in the first round as possible and then try your best to get a damage buff this dog would have died if we just had one spore sack activated and we would have been able to kill him 
This is definitely by no means an easy, easy strategy. This is something that you really have to coordinate with well with your team. But trust me, guys, if you guys can get four or five dogs killed in the first round, it will be a breeze going to the second or third round. So make it a goal to kill at least four dogs in the first round, and it will be a breeze going on. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope it helped. Now, I apologize if I missed anything. This is a live commentary. I'm just trying to quickly tell you guys exactly what we did because I know a lot of you guys are stuck at this part and you guys want to get done with it. So just some things to look out for. Kill those snipers across. Make sure you're standing in a light. You can use that weapon and kill them. And then other than that, on the second and third round, literally run. And even if one or two people are on the sacks, just pop it off, man, and do it. And then kill that last dog and have a blast. Good luck with the raid loot. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure that you turn on the bell for notifications. That's why you know when my videos go live, it's going to be the best strategies in trials, crucible, raids, quests, anything that you need. And remember, guys, you only have four rounds to do this. After the fourth round, the safe room, you have don't have access to it anymore. So, guys, sorry, I felt a little bit clustered. But once again, I'm just spitting all the knowledge from the top of my head for you guys. There you go. There's the reward loot. And I will be doing a big giveaway at 75,000 subscribers and then 100,000 subscribers. It helps a lot for you guys to drop likes on my videos and share them around. I really appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.